what's up YouTube family uh, hopefully everybody's having a great Saturday morning or afternoon now um, yeah I'm just this video you're gonna watch uh, she's one of my little old lady customers uh, she's recently widowed uh, I was over there oh maybe four or five days ago she called and said their furnace wasn't working the thermostat was blank after she replaced the battery so I ended up putting a new thermostat on for her and she called this morning uh, stating that she had no heat so and I, I, I signed her up with a maintenance agreement and I was planning on going over there Tuesday uh, to do that and well I had to go over there this morning on a Saturday um, just got done but yeah in this video you'll see what I find stick to the end and you'll see what was going on with this uh, no heat call have a great one Just got here. Let's see what's going on. Six flashes. Six flashes is. Pressure switch cycle lockout. So let's see what that means. Like I said, I'm uh, I was due to be here Tuesday, but it's part of the process, you know. Pressure switch to which is tight. 
Now, I mean, this is probably clogged, dirty. I thought maybe I was going to put the door on, try it. I thought maybe we had some block in the intake, but I'm going to clean this drain out. And yeah, I'm going to do a preventative maintenance on this one here. We're over in Marshall, Michigan, which is probably 20 minutes um, west of Battle Creek. Not too far, but I don't want to have to make a bunch of trips if I don't have to. So, let me take this off. I'll take this all off too. Let's see. Drill go to. Sorts of water coming out of there now. So let me go grab a towel. Okay, so I got a paper towel here. Actually, as dirty as I thought it was. So it's not a, I thought there'd be some gunk in there, but it's actually not bad. what three was. That was a pressure switch, I believe. And the pressure switch stuck open. So we may have some pressure switch issues here. Let's check negative pressure and see where we're at with that.
cleared out now. sensor Saturday afternoon. I think it's afternoon now. Yeah, it's 20 minutes to one. Usually on my Saturday mornings, I do my paperwork, you know, invoicing stuff like that, and then, uh, and then I find myself catching myself doing a lot of, you know, I try to do a lot of YouTube editing these videos it takes a lot to, a lot of time to do these videos <clears throat> so that's why I try to ask everybody if you like this content give me a thumbs up and smash that thumb smash the subscribe button because it uh, helps with the Al Gore rhythms keeps uh, other people can find these videos okay, so let's try this I'm gonna put him down here So, I'm going to try this again. Oops.
finally doing something. It's doing what that Goodman was doing. So. Let's check voltage. Switch. Okay. Where did we put this back on? So we're dropping voltage, it looks like. Incoming power. Right there. Wonder if that switch is going bad. So that's a little kitty wampus. Inducer. That's the power coming into the board.
suspension or boards getting ready to go out. Look at the LED, it flashes really fast, then it goes back to the standard flash. See that thing is. It's definitely dirty. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely got some rust on it. Deciding to this is just ridiculous. So I got that up in there, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna take this thing completely off. Just to get this freaking flame sensor back in where it needs to be because it's just a shit show. Trying to put this thing in. Very bad design on freaking JCI, let me tell you. This is why I do not sell GCI no more, because it's a pain in the freaking rump. Well, that's been leaking for a minute, too. Alright, so... All that freaking trouble... Just like that. Taking that off, just freaking... What a few. I'm gonna cycle this a couple times, but I still gotta check uh, capacitor. All right, we're gonna check uh, capacitance on this. Pass it for the motor. Let's see here. 7.37. Yeah, we're within specs, so we're good. 7.37. 125 and we're 7.3 so we're good there
sure you got a bad board. bad board. Let me go grab a board. Alright. Got a new board. Oh, finally, finally figured it out. Then we started doing it again. That's great. Sometimes you got to be patient. Patience is virtue. I got to keep learning that. Yep. Sometimes you got to be patient. So it goes out again. 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 detector and we'll see what that says zeroing these out all right Sit there for a 
let me turn that gas pressures up just a touch. This one is. This one's saying zero. This one's saying five. I've had this for quite a while. Uh, yeah. That's why I carry two of these. And I actually, I got a brand new one at home. I'm gonna have to start busting that one out.
again for a few minutes and while that one's running I'm gonna go back out here and see if I can zero this out here. Yeah, like I said, I don't know how accurate this one is. Field piece is pretty good. But uh, normally when I have an issue, both of them are bouncing. And this one's is still zero, and this one's starting to drop down. So leave your thoughts and feedback in this comment section below. What do you guys think? Like I said, I've had this one for a few years. I got a brand new one of these at home. I should probably start busting that one out. Let me go out here and take a look at the, I'm going to see if I can smell that exhaust, see if it uh, smells funky, and I don't, it shouldn't. No, doesn't smell nothing like a, a carrier, it smells, it smells, uh, clean exhaust if that's even possible see this thing's still saying five it's bouncing to four I don't like I said I don't know how accurate this one is we've been outside for a few minutes now okay steady state what are you talking about thinking we're good to go. There we go. Let's enter. Analyzing. Next. Readings in range. That's what we want. Yeah, so just by adjusting them gas pressures back up where they needed to be uh, got me where I needed to be as well. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to button this job up. Let me go out and check those CO detectors real quick. Reading zero. If there's an issue, it'd be coming on. Alright guys, you know what to do. Like and subscribe if you got any value out of this content. If you haven't if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. It's free. Doesn't cost nothing. Helps with the uh, allegor rhythms. Um, so yeah, give me a thumbs up. See you in the next one.